Welcome to a new day on Vanilla Rust. And in this adventure, I'll be building one of the cleverest little bases that you'll see. But I'm not doing this for no reason. See, today is Force Wipe, and what that means is across every Rust server, all maps and all blueprints are completely reset, putting every player like myself back on the beach with a rock and a torch. And as a solo in this harsh environment, it's easy to get left in the dust as the groups swarm. And that's where today's base comes in. A smart, OP design that anyone can build and capable of surviving on the toughest servers in Rust. Or so I hope. I guess you'll just have to stick around to find out if it does. My name is Wiljam, and I hope you enjoy my vanilla Rust experience. Now if you're ever sat, like me, looking at a black monitor now that night times are so dark in Rust, you may be looking for something to kill the time. And today's sponsor, Dragon City, might be just what you're after. A free-to-play mobile game available on all devices. Collect gold, food, gems and thousands of dragons with different rarities to build your own dragon empire. You can breed dragons for new eggs and feed them to evolve. You can then train your dragons to learn new attacks and take them into PvP fights in the arena or challenge your friends. Join an alliance and coordinate with your friends in exclusive events for some awesome rewards. And for daily prizes and dragons, you can join the battle pass and take part in the weekly minigames. You can download Dragon City today by clicking the link in the description or just scan the QR code for a special free starter pack of 15,000 food and 30,000 gold, plus the Flame Knight Dragon. So thanks again to Dragon City for sponsoring the video. After scanning the map, I spotted a location just north of launch site, right next to Outpost. It would be a hot spot for sure, but with no blueprints I had no choice but to go to the highest tier monument for my loot. And so off I went, alone, with a rock, in a brutal world. Gotta love the feeling of Force Wipe on Rust. Oh yeah, I'm actually launching a new Wiljums 2x server, it's a Monday wipe, uh, it's launching on the 16th. Uh, this month, uh, so yeah, check that out if you want it. Oh, oh, I did not mean to put that bag down. Oh well, I guess I have to craft another one. Right, that's a bow. What skin am I feeling today? I'm gonna go with the tempered. I just want to thank you guys for your recent support. I. It's actually unreal to me that uh, even after a face reel and all of that, you guys are still supporting me and still growing. I mean, like, I'm almost at 600,000 subscribers. It's incredible. I, f I swear I was at like 10k earlier this year. Oh, that was bad timing to turn my torch on. Oh, there's a boar! <laughs> Why? Fucking animals! Luckily, before I tragically died, I'd managed to get a bag down by outpost. And so after waiting on the timer, I respawned as the sun rose on a new day. You know what? It's fine. It's like it never happened. We'll just pretend- I'll edit it out. See? I found a horse. It was a blessing that that boar killed me, because if it hadn't, I'd have never found the horse. Right? Wait, I actually have no loot now, so I don't know what I'm doing here. I farmed some wood in the safety of the outpost, before using my horse to travel into the desert, which I suspected not many players would have ventured into so far. Ooh, free pig carcass. It's payback. Ooh, I'll take some pants, why not? Oh my gosh, loads of crates here. Must be a... Uh... Oh, the first one here. Three pipes, nice. Two more pipes. Sheet metal, that's good for frags. Another sheet metal hazmat, oh my gosh. And gears, okay, this is an insane start. If I can get this recycled and build a base, that'll be an instant tier one workbench. I can even get a metal door. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I even got a fast horse, so uh, I should be okay. 
There was no way I was wasting such a lucky start to a force wipe, so I crafted some stone tools and started farming for a base straight away. I'm just gonna grab as much wood as I can. Go away! Well, that's a furnace too, which is uh, pretty handy. Uh oh. Oh, he's just ditched his horse. Okay, yeah, I'm gone. There. <laughs> There's no way I'm taking this fight with all this loot. Not a chance. With an inventory full of farm, I was incredibly vulnerable. I needed to find a good location and get my base down as fast as I could. I kind of like it up here. Oh, oh, this spot is perfect. Just outside of the snow in a forest, I can hide my base away so easily. Basically, a really simple starter, which is nice. I'm really looking forward to building the trick. It's so neat and it's gonna work so well on Force Wipe. You guys are gonna like it. One of the greatest things about this little base is it really can be built by anyone. The starter for it is as simple as a triangle and a square with a double door to close it off. All right, well, I've already got a metal door, so there's no way I'm getting raided yet. Put the barbecue down and campfire. As with any wipe, the first thing I do when I get a base down is some farming. Ensuring that I'll never have to go back to using my rock again. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, nah, I'm not. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Started the wrong fight there. I think that was three of them. Probably gonna steal my horse. Pickles, no! You know what, I might as well craft a furnace and get metal smelting already. What a smooth start to the force swipe. I've got enough for a tier 1, got a furnace, can't really complain. I actually love this location as well. Right next to launch site, on a hill. Like it was made for me. Metal. I should probably get a bag down because I don't actually have any nearby. Home. Okay, that is my wood. With some resources farmed, I risked my first trip to launch site. Now this could get ugly. Probably gonna die on this run. Launch is gonna be busy, but oh my! Look how perfect this base location is, though. Oh my god! There are people already doing red. They might even have a gun. How on earth are they already doing red? Server's been live like 15 minutes. That is weird. Oh wait, I guess it has been more like 40 minutes. I forgot I joined a little bit late. That one. We'll take the lift. Might be some crates up here. I think I reckon uh, head to outpost straight afterwards as well. Recycle there. I don't. There's no way I'm going to risk recycling in launch site this early on in wipe. It's going to be way too busy. Nice fuse. That's 20 scrap and two gears. Grab the crate down here. Ooh, has he? I reckon this is shot. Yeah, it is. That's a shame. Too early. Later on in wipe, that'll be open. With an inventory full of components, I knew that launch site was far too chaotic to risk recycling. 
Instead, I ran straight to Outpost. And this is what made my location so strong. I could do dangerous farming runs and then recycle with the safety of Outpost. This is going to be a really good run. I just need to get this home afterwards. But this will be a lot of scrap. Wow, almost 300 scrap. That's insane. What a start. I might actually just learn some stuff in the workbench because I don't want to die with it. That'll be painful. I'm also going to craft a nail gun because uh, they're a little cheeky. Running around with 300 scrap half an hour after four swipe is not the best idea. I decided to use all my scrap in outpost learning blueprints. You know what? Yep, I just spent my scrap learning a rug. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> it's got to be done. I'm sorry. That was a little pain. I'll get my Azzy skinned as well. We made it. I should probably get an airlock soon. I've actually got quite a lot of loot now. Get the rug down though, most importantly. Hell yeah. And after one of the smoother starts I've had in Rust to date, I crafted myself a work. Look at that! Smooth runnings. As you may or may not know, it's not a particularly good idea to have one door between your loot and the outside world in Rust. It was about time I added an airlock. Right, so we're just gonna go with another double door. Later on that'll be a garage door, which will make this base really strong. But this'll do for now. Apes actuals. Due to the blueprints being reset, it was unlikely that any groups had their hands on explosives yet. This meant that my base, now with metal doors, was safe. For now. Feels good having a metal hatchet, I must say. Uh-oh. Oh, holy shit. No! Go, go, go. <gasps> the tree! Oh, I got stuck in the tree. Dead. To none other than a tree. Only in a video of mine. Now oh, I knew the flawless start wouldn't last long. It was feeling too good to be true. Oh, well, I didn't actually lose anything, really. Right, morning. Another bit of farm. It'll be good to get metal cooking all day today. Oh my god, a barrel. Two more. Oh my gosh, got a spaz? I'm so dead. Oh! No! Let me pick Bro! Why did it fall under his body? Ah, oh, this game is so annoying. My gosh, I cannot believe that. When Rust gives you lemons. Well, to be honest, there's not really much you can do except have a break and let yourself cool off a bit. Because this game can be pretty rough sometimes. Instead of heading back to launch site and potentially running into that three man again, I decided to head back to that old mining outpost that I found at the start of the white. Oh, I actually really like that skin. I've, uh, I've never used this crossbow skin before. It's kind of neat. It's a cool idea. Do it more green though. Got the poncho on. Oh, good, there are crates. I'm just gonna put this bag down around here. 
Double barrel. Okay, that is insane. I'm going home. I'm going home right now. What a find. It might not seem like much, but finding a double barrel at the start of four swipe was huge. A weapon like this allowed me to efficiently take down multiple players at once, including those with much better gear. And all I had to do now was get it home and researched. Okay, I need a little bit more scrap for the research table. Some more farming. <sighs> uh oh. Okay. It appeared that I had some neighbors, and quite a few of them. This would be interesting. There's no way they already have an MP5. Oh, these guys going crazy. So they all live in that little 2x2. Two two. These guys just run away from the outpost. You might have some scrap. Sorry, buddy. It's gotta be done. Hey, a little bit. Oh, that was the arrow. It had to hit. This guy's definitely got some scrap on him. Oh yeah, seven road signs. Nice. I will definitely have enough to uh, research the double barrel now. Ooh, a ladder. Might be helpful. Hmm, I'm just gonna ignore that guy, get home. I need this. I now had enough scrap to craft a research table and learn that double barrel shotgun. Yeah, this is gonna be huge. I can take it on launch now. I won't be losing that fight I lost earlier again. Not with this bad boy. Let's go. Uh, actually, I want a new double barrel skin. I'm bored. I'm bored of the skins I've got. Alright. Okay, I've, uh, I've gone a little retro, and I decided to go with one of the first double barrel skins ever. I remember buying this skin back in like 2015 or something, and uh, oh yeah, a little nostalgia with this one. The grandfather skin. This is a classic. It's got the stock and everything. Legendary. Definitely worth five pounds. <laughs> I don't know why I do this. Let's cook up some pork. Alright. That'll do. I've probably got enough to uh, build the rest of the base now. Got a second furnace, I'll get some sulfur cooking in that one for my ammo. Just enjoying living in a forest. Being this close to all the trees is really handy for getting wood. Where are you going? Uh oh. Oh, that guy was having none of it. <laughs> He's off. Alright, nice. More rugs. It will never be enough. While roaming my area, I spotted the foundations of a large base being built. I went to go check it out with my double barrel. Building. Oh, oh my god, he's got a P2. Oh. oh, that's the neighbor. 
This is the same group who I died to earlier, when I couldn't pick up the Spaz-12. They also happen to be my neighbours. This was gonna get tricky. Oh, they're coming for me. That's two of them. And right as I was running home, I spotted him, watching me. I knew in that second, if I opened my front door, my base would be raided the second they had explosives. I had to keep going, pretending to live somewhere far away. Some people ask how I survive on servers like this. Sometimes you've got to use your head. And just you wait, the payoff for that one move is pretty special. I'm not sure I can jump back into my base yet. No, no I can't. Oh yep, yeah, no definitely not. I have to play this so safe, they're like fighting right outside my base. I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. Oh my gosh, they're still fighting there, they want their loot back man. I just hope they're not there now. Oh my god, a war zone happened here. Alright, I made it. I had made it. Inside my humble 2x1, undetected. With my hands on a tier 2 weapon. The first of the force wipe. I wasn't done just yet though. They knew what my name was. So I had to change that too. Melancholy madness was gone. I was now rose pink. And with that, my outfit had to change too. I planned to hang around my base, looking undergeared for a while, and keep my head low. It felt like a good moment to finally turn my base into the clever trick I'd been talking about. Okay, so I've got to build 15 triangles out, and then come back with squares. I need more wood. Just gonna remove some of these as well. Oh, oh, this is perfect. This is definitely one of the neighbors. Come on, kill me. Nice. And that was exactly what I wanted. My neighbor had just killed Rose Pink while building my base. They now had no idea that it was me who stole their loot. Well, I think that worked rather perfectly. They now think I'm just some random solo. Okay, square here. Just gotta build back all the way with squares. Oops, lagging. Nice, it fits, just. I found the idea for this design on a fantastic YouTube channel called Rexmore. You should definitely check him out. Relatively new on the building scene, but I think you guys would enjoy his content. So make sure you give him some love. And then two half walls on here. This makes the bunker work. Get those two to stone. Triangle on the left side, and then another triangle. This one has to be attached to that half wall though, or else the bunker won't actually work. And now, when I come to log off, or whenever I like, I can place a triangle there, upgrade it to stone, and then when I wake up in the morning, I simply place that twig roof, and the bunker opens. So this base has no entrance. <laughs> I can just seal it off, and there's no way of getting in through doors. You have to go through walls. Now this trick is especially important for Force Wipe, which is why I built it today. Because no one has blueprints, I figured I wouldn't get my hands on a garage door for a while. And without a garage door, it's hard to make your base strong. And so being able to seal off the entrance to my base completely meant that I could have an incredibly strong base despite having no blueprints. Okay, I'm gonna head back to launch site, see if I can get some more scrap. Go away! 
That's why the balls really have it out for me today. No, that's not great. Oh, there is someone in here. If I was him, I would jump out the top floor and then drop down here. So I'm away from right by this door here. Oh, I think he's coming. I think I was right. He should drop down on the left right here. Let's fucking go. Revolver. Ooh. That's a lot of comps. Oh, and a bear rug. Huge. I swear I'm more excited about the bear rug than the revolver. But they're both pretty good. Yeah, getting a Revy now. Oh. If I can get this home, this will be really helpful. Oh, no. It's not dead. Fuck it. I'm just running. With a revolver home, I now had a reliable tier 1 weapon that could do damage at range. I researched it immediately. Well, what a start. We got the double barrel, the revy. We got a P2? I haven't researched it yet, but I need to. And the bear rug, most importantly. Let's go. If today could be perfect, I can get a garage door. That would make it good. The workbench. I think it's about time I uh, did a little bit of base organization. I'm sure you guys appreciate it. nicely. My organization is not always the best when I play Rust, but I wanted to make an effort for you guys. Oh, look at that. We got the box spiral. Looking good. All I need now is the spray can to make the skins match. I think about everything, don't you worry. So we'll get tools and weapons in that one. Uh, resources in the right one. Components in this little small box. Man. And then resources in this one. Cool. I think that's like some basic organization. Right, here we go. I think I'm feeling the uh, the red and blue theme today. We'll go alternating colors just to make it look extra cool. Go ice and then a red one. Oh yeah, I like, that looks cool. You can't deny. Two panda rugs, it's about time. We've been waiting for the bear rugs and here they are. Amazing. Okay. That actually works quite well because I was just holding a stone axe. They probably think I'm really poor. That works perfectly. Okay, I think my plan is to grind for a tier 2 now. I've got lots of tier 1 blueprints. Time for the workbench level 2. Uh-oh. Those guys are going to their roof. Barrel. I'm gonna get my, uh, some clothes on, head back to launch site for another run. It's been working. Force Wipe is an absolute scrap grind. 
Luckily, I had launch site close by. My best bet was to keep doing scrap runs to get my hands on as much as I could. Ooh, three tech trash. That is 60 scrap. Two gears. I think I'll keep them. Syringe. That's kind of cool. Camera as well. Hazzy over there. Can't tell if what gun he's got. There he is. Oh, I miss. Uh oh. He might kill me actually. I need to bait him to come towards me so I can kill him with a double barrel. Ah, oh, damn it. Actually, he might push me now. Yep. Let's go. He fell right into my trap. That is a lot of scrap. Low HP and full of loot, I didn't want to risk heading home past my neighbors. So instead, I ran straight back to outpost. What a run. That's almost a tier, tier 2 in one scrap run. 337. Oh my gosh. You know what, I'm just going to research pistol ammo while I'm here. Just in case I die. There we go. It'd still be painful if I die, but... Oh, I'm just gonna let them go. They're running right where I want to go. Uh-oh. It's not good. Just keep running. And we made it. Halfway to uh, level 2 already. Right, well, launch site seems to be working well. With the double barrel, I can kill pretty much anyone. So, uh, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Okay, another morning. I'm just gonna put some rugs down on the outside of my base. Because <laughs> why not? I've probably got better things to spend cloth on, but, uh, you know me. Gotta make it look nice. It's all part of it. There we go. I'll craft a few more later on. That looks pretty cool for now. I swear, when you go into the desert in Rust, like, there's just this massive orange filter. The filter kind of feels like that scene from Breaking Bad. <laughs> Where it's like overly dramatized American movies set in Mexico. Or is that just me? Ooh, Thompson. Oh, I think that's my neighbors. That is not good. Solar panel. I have to set up some electricity this way. And a ceiling light. Who just left a rifle body? More crates. Barricade might come in handy later. That will recycle the good stuff. Uh oh. Yeah, I think we're good. Right now, launch site was working out. I was able to use my horse to escape any fights while collecting tons of scrap, bringing back two or three hundred home with every short run. I would have a tier two in no time. Get these 
furnace is filled up again. You all know how to split into three by now. A new morning. And the sun is looking beautiful. Uh oh, so is the weapon flashlight in their base. Oh, he's on this roof. Let's go, horsey. Pipes. A bit annoying. Oh no! Ah! Don't do it, Bradley. Oh! <laughs> Okay, we're good. I think with this run I'll actually have enough for the uh, the workbench. That's insane. Oh no. Please don't be outside my base. Alright, we are good. There you go. Cannot believe that. 600 scrap in like an hour. That's amazing. Another 200. Okay, I think with 800 scrap, it is time to make that tier 2. Yeah, so since I started farming scrap solidly, like an hour ago, I've got 800 just from launch site. It's so OP. Okay, let's do it. I don't really have any tier 2 blueprints, but I guess I can use the tech tree and get myself a garage door if I can farm the scrap. Let's see. So I need 500 for the garage door. That's quite a lot. Get the salvage axe now. Don't have enough for the pig. I was a little distracted on my phone, and I wanted to try a rat trick that one of my friends once taught me. If you've got enough patience, it'll pay off. Oh, I think it's actually gonna work. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he only had a crossbow. That's a shame. This is teammate. Bye bye. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he's pushing me. Oh, that was close. Six HP. Oh my god. How much HP, man? How much HP? Ah, uh, that was six HP. Oh my god. GG, bro. <laughs> GG, man. Oh, that guy was nice, actually. Earlier, I mentioned the importance of the misdirection of my neighbors. And this is why. Holy... that... that is the base right next to mine. <laughs> I guarantee that's my neighbors raiding. They probably thought it was them that stole the shit from them. Oh my god. I dodged a bullet there. The neighbors had decided to raid a base right next to mine. And I guarantee if I had played my cards differently earlier, that would have been my base getting blown into. Though no one was to say they would stop with that base, and so I quickly upgraded mine to make it as strong as possible. Okay, so before upgrading this to metal, this base can tank about like 10 satchels if the bunker's closed. So if I can upgrade this to metal and close the bunker, this base will literally tank like 30 satchels. Oh my gosh, they actually brought quite a lot. I'm just gonna quickly spend all my scrap in case they raid me anyway. Wow, I think they used 10, which would have been enough to raid this base. I'm glad I didn't annoy them. It actually saved me doing what I did earlier, because I guarantee they would have just gone for my base if they knew what I had. Okay, yeah, it was definitely them. They just jumped back into their base. 
I'm gonna get rid of this so that if I have to, I can steal the bunker from inside if they start raiding me. I was gonna build an airlock as well. If I was only worried about offlines, I wouldn't bother with this. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, I definitely need to do this quickly. Just to be safe. I decided to add a small airlock above my secret entrance, and that way if they decided to online raid me, I could seal the base from inside. Okay, this is good. Basically, if they were, like, holding my roof and I didn't add this, I wouldn't be able to close off my bunker. And, like, if I was at launch site when they started raiding me, I'd just lose, so... At least now, if I hear the satchels, I can quickly seal and I'll be good. There's no way they're gonna farm that many to raid me right now. Uh-oh, here they come. <laughs> Nothing to see here, boys. Keep on moving. No, I don't feel too worried now. It'll cost a lot to raid me. I just wish I can get the garage door so that they can't raid me through doors. I'm just going to seal this every time I leave now, in case they hit me while I'm roaming. Yeah, so like right now, if they wanted to hit me, it would cost them... It was now a rush against the clock. I needed the scrap to research a garage door before they decided to come and raid my base. I knew I was strong enough to stand at least 24 satchels with my bunker design, and so I felt pretty confident. Uh oh. Go away, wolf. Get out of here. Alright, uh, open the bunker. Easy peasy. Alright, I think I've got enough for the garage door now, actually. Oh no. Not just yet. One more run, I will. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take some components and recycle them at outposts, and then I should have enough scrap. Seal the bunker again. You never know when they might come back. Let's go, horsey. Scrap, that's enough. Oh, I just have enough wood. That's good. Hmm, do I go with a window? Yeah, I will. Okay, double airlock just to be safe. And now also they might waste eight satchels going through those doors just to find, like, a sealed floor. The 111 scrap. Cannot believe I farmed enough for a level 2 and a garage door and loads of tier 1 blueprints all in one wipe day. This has actually been so, so good. I think I forgot just how powerful launch site is, really. I've got the window, I'm actually going to make this a window anyway. Adds to the, uh, the role player aesthetic of the base. There we go. Can see out. Time for some garage doors. I think I'm feeling retro with the chop shop skin. It's been a while since I've used this one. Of that uh, cauldron. One. I like the skin because it helps when you're defending online, because like you know where people are behind your door, which can be really helpful. You also know like how deep they are in your base, because sometimes if you open a garage door, they can just be there. What a day. 
My base can now survive at least 24 satchels, possibly more. If I add some honeycomb, I can literally make it like 34, 40. It's a, it's a great design for, for fresh white. It can definitely serve you guys well. Okay, we're getting the kits down. We got the locker, we're gaming now. Oh yeah. We, we got those raid defense. Those raid defense kits with the crossbow and double barrel. Gaming. Oh, bucket hat gaming now. Yeah, no no one wants to raid me. They'd be in for trouble. Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> oh, this is the dumbest kits ever. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with me either. <laughs> You'll regret it. I'll cover you as my double barrel kits. Like the chat that I am. Probably do with getting a bed as well. Might be handy. But that's the tomorrow problem. Because I am going to bed. What a good day it has been. And after one of the smoothest force wipes I've ever had on official rust, I sealed my bunker for the last time in the night. I was pretty confident I'd survive, thanks to a very clever design and garage doors. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, there will be a part 2 and so turn notifications on. Massive thank you to my patrons for your support, and I will see you in the next one. Wiljam, out. So massive thanks again to Dragon City for sponsoring the video. The link will be in the description to collect your free rewards.